Welcome everyone to the first fossil of the day for COP17. Can we have another round of applause, please? Now, as you may have noticed, I don't have a mic piece or a sound system, I just have my voice. So, um, just, you know, try and keep it quiet so I don't actually die in the process. <laughs> All right, cheers everyone. So, um, Fossil of the Day is an award which is, or three awards, which are presented to the country which did the most to block negotiations for that day. Boo! Boo. Exactly. It's uh, put on every year uh, by Can International, uh, and this year it's hosted by the Australian Youth Climate Coalition, as well as supported by youth delegations the world, literally the world over. So, um, yeah, can we have a round of applause for them? Right, that's enough of those shenanigans. Okay, so, we'll leap right into it, ladies and gentlemen. The third place fossil of the day for the first fossil of the day of COP17. Can everybody please give me a drum roll on their thighs? Just, oh, louder, come on, louder. Goes to, it's a bit awkward. The UK, ladies and gentlemen. We have an award for you. A glass of coal brimming with your favourite source of energy. Thank you very much. Did you have anything you wanted to say? I would just really like to thank you for all giving me the first fossil of the day. In particular, I'd really like to thank Canada for their support over the past few months and just their general determination to get me in the place I am today. Exactly. The third <laughs> That's right, the third place fossil of the day has been awarded to the UK for following revelations that UK ministers have done a deal with the Canadian government to support the entry of tar sands into the European fuel supply chain. <laughs> this is undermining proposed provisions of the European Fuel Quality Directive. The UK does not appear as frequently as Canada on the fossil roll call. It's true, we're a bit disappointed. But when they do, they do it in style. <laughs> Despite claiming to be the greenest government ever, the ruling coalition in the UK has become champion for the world's dirtiest fuels. The UK might have a different opinion from Canada on the value of the Kyoto Protocol. We hope so. <laughs> but there is one thing they can agree on. A government's best friend is an oil lobby. Round of applause, or maybe a boo. No, no, really, no. Should have seen that coming. All right, which takes us to second place, fossil of the day. Ladies and gentlemen, second place, fossil of the day. You can give us a round of applause if you so want. Oh my. You know them well. They've taken out first place for the past few years. Second place goes to Canada! We have the... Show us the place more. Welcome back. Can I give us the Yeah, sure. England was fantastic. Fantastic. It's lovely to have you back, Canada. It's not so great to be here. <laughs> the second place fossil of the day has been awarded to Canada following statements by their environment minister that they are coming to Durban to play hardball with developing countries. This quotation from Canadian environment, environment Minister Peter Kent doesn't even require paraphrasing in typical fossil humour. It is sufficiently outrageous on its own. Quote, emerging and developing countries need to, oh my mistake, quote, wielding the historical guilty card and asking for a free pass on emissions reductions just because in the past industrialised countries have more emissions than the rest of the world. Hands off, LDCs, that free pass on emissions reductions belongs to Canada. Can we have a round of boos, please? Boo! Fantastic. And last but not least, first place for the fossil of the day this year. Can we have a countdown from three this time? Three. Wait, one moment, one moment. <laughs> 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 Ladies and 
ladies and gentlemen, first place fossil of the day this year goes to. Am I? Maybe I maybe I dropped the flag or. Uh, no, ladies and gentlemen, first place fossil of the day, they're already here, goes to Canada! Oh. It's lovely to have you back a second time. <laughs> <laughs> the first place fossil goes to Canada. Although Canada's Environment Minister said he hoped to win less fossils than his predecessors, he's not off to a very good start. As you can quite clearly see. Canada... Oh, and they're breaking the medals. Canada has proven its fossil track record with four consecutive Fossil of the Year awards. But if you can believe it, it seems they are even worse than we thought. Environment Minister Peter Kent has articulated clearly that they will not budge with international pressure on a second commitment period of Kyoto, a great attitude to have in negotiations. This is unfortunately not necessarily a surprise. Canada has been separated from its Kyoto targets for years, but it seems they're headed for a divorce. <laughs> in fact, reports are saying that on Canada's side, it is already a done deal and yet, here they are, planning to spend two weeks negotiating a treaty they intend to soon abandon. <laughs> this is a tough one for Fossil because it's hard to joke about. Canada is here in Durban in bad faith. Countries should be asking themselves why Canada is sitting at the Kyoto, pro uh, Kyoto negotiating table with a secret plan to formally withdraw from the Kyoto mere weeks after the talks end. This move is a slap in the face to the international community. Canada is further isolating itself in these talks as a country that not only is refusing to take meaningful action at home, tar sands, anyone, but also one that does not deserve trust and respect from the international community here in Durban. Shame on Canada. Shame. And so ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the first fossil of the day for COP 17. Can we maybe get a round of Fossil of the Day song, please? May, may, I, may I make a, a victory speech? You may make a victory speech. <laughs> yes, uh, I just want to thank everyone. Uh, you know, it's very clear we're articulating our, our message here at, you know, Canada, here at, uh, in Durban. Uh, we're here to put polluters ahead of people. And that's why we're here in Durban, to, to, to make sure that, that our agenda of putting people behind the interests of polluters in the context of climate change. So. Thank you. Would Canada like to lead us into the Fossil of the Day theme tune? Why, certainly. <laughs> Please, if, if you will. I'm, I'm new, so... Uh... Oh. <laughs> My apologies. Yeah, everyone, please. Everybody. Fossil of the Day, Fossil.